if you're not playing the Hermes game, let's talk about some alternatives to the Hermes Kelly. Hello, 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 and the warmest of welcomes to today's video. For those of you who haven't seen my face before, hi, I'm Nick, fab to have you here. For those of you who have seen my face before, thank you so much for joining me again. I hope you're enjoying my videos. I put up my videos roughly three times a week on a range of different topics, anywhere from fashion, some slightly more personal topics. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, then please do head down, hit subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. I love chatting with you all. I'm all about living life loud, and what that means to me is being your authentic self, being proud to be you, and just celebrating who you are. Celebrating yourself and celebrating others. So, before we get into today's topic, I want to talk to you a little bit about something really quickly that happened to me at the start of the week that I thought was absolutely insane. And I'm so grateful that a lovely individual on Instagram let me know that this had happened. So there was someone who wanted to sell their Mulberry Bays water in the Trippy Tiger denim, which I have the same bag of. It's quite a rare one, you don't see it very often. And this individual had taken photos of their bag for Vestia Collective, and when you scroll through, the final photo was a screenshot from my review of my, of my Trippy Tiger as the photo. And I couldn't believe it, because I thought, firstly I thought, how cheeky, and then the more I thought about it, the more I thought, no, that that makes it look like maybe I'm the seller. Also, my bag was in far better condition than theirs was. It just felt a little bit of an invasion of privacy, really. And I know that, um, you know, I know that by putting videos on YouTube, you're putting yourself into the public space, and that's absolutely fine. However, what I don't expect is someone to use it to sell something. That's where I get, that's where it bothers me. It doesn't, you know, I don't mind if someone uses a screen grab of one of my videos for one of their videos or for an Instagram or something like that. It really doesn't bother me. It bothers me when they're using it to sell something and it potentially implies that I'm a seller. Now I have to say, Vestia Collective were fantastic. I messaged them on Instagram. I sent them the link that the lovely individual had sent me to tell me that it was happening. And within 24 hours, they'd taken it down off the app and it very quickly followed on the website. So big thumbs up to Vestia, thank you so much. But how cheeky. Um, but of course, you know, you can't check every listing to make sure that no one's trying to <laughs> showing your photos. But I'm just really grateful that that individual stumbled across it. I thought it was really bizarre. And I did post about it on my Instagram and the reaction that I got from it. Um, a lot of people were actually more bothered than I was um, and found it more insulting than I did. But then the more that I thought about it, the more I thought, actually, maybe I'm not taking it quite seriously enough. But it was just the portrayal of me, you know, I, for me, it was actually about the end customer. You know, they were basically showing a bag that was better conditioned than theirs. And they did have lots of photos of theirs, but the end one was a bag that was much better conditioned of someone who wasn't the seller. That to me just felt a bit strange and a little bit of an invasion of privacy, like I said. But I know that putting putting YouTube videos out, you're, you're putting yourself in the public domain. Um, but I just don't expect my images, I guess, to be used to sell other people's stuff. It's a bit strange. Without my knowledge, it's a bit strange. Anyway, let's move on from that. I just thought I would share that with you because it was weird and yeah. Anyway, moving on. Big thumbs up to Vestia. But what I wanted to talk to you about today was I know there has been a lot of conversation, I've spoken about it before, around MS quota bags and playing the game and the interest in it, of which I have very little interest, but there was a tag that uh, many of us participated in that was around the quota bags and are they status symbols, is the Birkin a status symbol? And you know, it got me thinking about alternatives. And you know I like to do videos about alternatives to popular luxury or very expensive items because that's not within everybody's price point, but sometimes you can get the same look, same functionality for less. So I do like to share that. And today I'm going to be doing a similar thing with the um, Hermes Kelly. However, what I'm not focusing on here so much is price point. I'm just looking for alternatives to this bag if you don't want to play that game, but you want something that has a similar functionality, a similar look, still from high-end brands, but it just offers something a little bit different. And I have tried to look at certain brands that you maybe don't hear about quite so much or see about quite as often. But anyway, 
let's get into it. And the first two that I am going to share with you are probably the most common alternatives that you will hear people talking about. The first one is one that I did look at on the site, but I think they maybe have discontinued it, but I could find many pre-loved. And this is from Hermes, and this is the Hermes Her Bag. I think this has a very similar functionality, a very similar look to the Kelly, but it's often made in different materials. A lot of the Her Bags come in a canvas or a material body with a leather flap. I think this is a really lovely item. You can get it in a lot of bright, bold, beautiful colours. It didn't fall within the quota system, I don't believe. There are many on the pre-loved market for circa two, three thousand pounds. Equate that into whichever currency you would be purchasing in. But there are a lot available. There are about 65 available on Fashion File when I was looking. And they have some really beautiful colours. I particularly like the ones that you can get in yellow. And I've also seen her bags which have a is it a Pegasus print? And I think that's absolutely beautiful. That's really good fun. It's different. It's a really beautiful item. But I would say this is probably the most direct comparison. But of course it would be. It came from the brand itself. So I wouldn't expect anything less. Next up is a bag that if I go back to a video that I did probably about seven or eight months ago, I said I didn't understand why this bag was the price it did. I have to eat a big old slab of humble pie and I have to eat my words because having seen so much content about this bag now, I get it. And this is the Louis Vuitton Capucines. This is stunning. You can get this in a range of sizes, like the her bag, many fun variants. They do the arty Capucines. You can get um, Capucines with a Python top handle if you wanted. You can get full leather versions. Um, Emilia from Emilia Rose's Closet has absolutely stunning variations of this bag, particularly this magenta with the malachite. Oh, it is gorgeous. And her Arti Capucines. I mean, that is a highlight. That is stunning. But it's a really beautiful bag. I think it's practical, it's versatile, it's sophisticated, you could very easily transition from day to night. You have the crossbody strap, and that's something that's important to know in this video. I haven't gone for bags that are exclusively top handle. To be a comparison to the Kelly, I think there are a few features that it needs to have. It needs to have a top handle, it needs to have a crossbody strap, and ideally some sort of flap that goes over the top of the bag. So those were my three kind of criteria. Um, and had to be, you know, a good quality item. Regardless of the brand, it had to be well made. So those were, those were where I was going with this. But I would say that the Louis Vuitton Capucines is one that's frequently referred to as an alternative to the Kelly, and I can absolutely see why. Price point wise, four or five thousand pounds, I think. So it is a couple of thousand pounds saving versus a Kelly, but it is still very much up there in terms of the price point, but it is a beautiful item nonetheless. So let's jump across to Salvatore Ferragamo, and we are talking about the Trifolio top handle. This is quite structured. It's got the flap over the top. It's got a beautiful clasp. We can get this in a range of different styles. You can get this in a couple of different sizes. I particularly liked this one with the uh, that was in black leather and it had this embossing on the bottom half of the bag. I thought it was absolutely beautiful, very subtle, very sophisticated. This is a bag that I think to look at, you would appreciate it for being elegant, for being beautiful, but you wouldn't necessarily know where it was from in the first instance. It might be one that you would have to ask the owner, where is that from? It's beautiful. But that I think is what Ferragamo do very well. They are very subtle pieces, quite understated, very, very beautiful nonetheless. And like I said, you can get this in a range of different colors, different sizes, a couple of different styles. It comes with the crossbody strap as well, making it really versatile. I think this could be a really nice option. Now we've heard about them for their jewelry. We don't hear about them so much for their leather goods. And I'm talking about Cartier. And the bag that I'm talking about is the Panther Panther de Cartier. And this is absolutely gorgeous. This is a stunning item, and this was the first alternative that I found, and it just made me go, wow, this is beautiful. Particularly that clasp around the center of the bag is stunning. Cartier's attention to detail is really like no other. I can absolutely understand why they have the acclaim that they do when it comes to their jewelry. I do own Cartier pieces myself as well. I don't own love bracelets or anything like that, but I do own a couple of pieces from Cartier. 
and very happy with them, would really like to add a piece from their leather goods section into my collection. Although I'm probably thinking that would be an SLG opposed to a bag itself. But this is really, really beautiful. This style wouldn't be my favourite bag in total, but actually I think of all the Kelly alternatives, this one's actually pretty close in terms of my favourite of them all. And I will reveal my favourite at the end, very much like Steph from Handbagholic does in her videos. I always think that's a really nice touch. But this is beautiful. They do it in a range of different colours. They do it in red, they do it in black, they do it in green. The green was the one that particularly grabbed me, although of course Cartier are famous for their red. Um, but they also did the mini size in a really beautiful soft pink. Then there was one which is not this style at all, but I have to talk about it because of the price. £128,000 for a bag. It's like a mesh square bag, and I will insert a photo of it, but 128000 I mean, the materials that they were using were exceptional. But my word, that is so much money. That is crazy. And I know that people pay similar for Himalayan Birkins, etc. But, oh, <laughs> I mean, 1,280 would be a tough pill for me to swallow when it comes to a price. 12,800 would be out of this world for me. 128,000 beyond anything that I could ever imagine. I mean, that's, that's you know, that could be a one bed flat somewhere. That could be a really high end car. Oh, my word. But of course, you know, this will be a really beautiful, exceptional piece. But anyway, I've gone off topic. I really did like the Panther de Cartier. I think it's absolutely stunning. Um, a bit of a concertina style, kind of accordion, or, um, practical on the interior. Also has the shoulder strap, um, as all of these do. Um, has the flap over the top. Really great attention to detail. Fabulous structure. I would say this is a really nice alternative to the Kelly Cellier. Um, but of course it's probably something that as you use it over time would slouch a little bit. So the retourne could also be a alternative as well. Now one that doesn't have all of the same features, but I think from a price point perspective, I think from a brand perspective is a nice one that I thought was worth including. And this one is from Mulberry. And I'm talking about the Mulberry Belted Base Water, particularly in the smaller sizes. I do think this is a really nice alternative. It's a lovely top handle. It comes with a great shoulder strap. It has the sangles like the Kelly and the Birkin do um, on the front of it. It's very subtle. It's very understated. All of these are very understated, which again, I think is what the Kelly is about. Um, but it has a similar shape for me to the Retourne style. It's just missing the flap that goes over the top. So... I think it's a really nice option. It's about £850, depending on the size. That's the smaller size. You can get larger sizes, but I think the larger sizes are less comparable. Maybe, you know, maybe you could go for a Kelly 35 Retourne and it would be quite similar to a Belted Bayswater Water in a larger size. Um, but I think this could be a really nice alternative. Mulberry's a great brand. What I really like about Mulberry as well is they use a lot of grained leathers. They do have a couple of variations of this as well, a couple of colour variations. There was a really beautiful, almost like ruffled leather look, um, which I really liked on this particular item. It was a little bit more expensive, but you're still talking somewhere around a thousand pounds, which is a really good price, I think, for luxury brands. Or um, Obviously, it depends on your categorization. I recently spoke about the categorization of luxury following a conversation that was started by Dale, Gwenny and Autumn. Um, but this could be a really nice alternative, a really nice way to integrate maybe a slightly different brand into your collection. Now another bag that I have spoken about recently, but I think it has the structure, it has a lot of the same features as the Kelly at a very, very different price point, but it still has its look. What's really important with these is they're not dupes. They all have a look and aesthetic in their own right, but I just think they offer similar options to the Kelly. And I'm talking about the Aspinall of London Mayfair. Now Jane from Jane Loves LV has one of these and she has the most beautiful black mock crop version. She's accessorized it with a stunning scarf from Aspinall. It looks exceptional. You can get these in a range of different sizes. I think there is a mini and a midi, something along those lines. It's around £650, dependent on the variation that you go for. 
What I love about Aspinall is the fact that they do a lot of mock crock and I'm a big fan of mock crock. I think it's really good fun. So really, really love this particular item. I think it is great, really enjoyable shopping experience at Aspinall as well. Um, and I bought a number of different pieces from them actually. I don't own any of their bags yet myself. However, I have bought a number of their pieces. I own quite a lot of their small leather goods, some of them not so small leather goods, um, but they fall within that category. But then I've also bought a number of their pieces for gifts as well, and the individuals that I've bought them for have absolutely loved them. So that's definitely one to consider. Um, I think it's a really lovely piece and it comes from a slightly different brand that you don't hear about quite so much. So there's always a thought. And finally, a brand that I have heard of a couple of times, but not a huge amount. And this brand actually had a number of options that could have been selected as alternatives to a Kelly if you were looking. And I'm really sorry for the pronunciation, but is it Moynard? Moynard? Um, these items look so beautifully crafted. Oh my word. The one that I picked that I think would be the closest alternative would be the Gabrielle. It is stunning. I absolutely love the way that they have got the flap, which has the cutout of the logo in the flap itself. I love this. I think it is stunning. They brought it out in a beautiful range of colors as well. My particular favorite color was the blush pink. However, I thought the purple was stunning. The chalk was stunning. They did a gorgeous green. They were all beautiful. And from a price point perspective, you were sitting at around three and a half thousand. So they are still really, really high priced items, but beautiful. So I have heard really good things about the quality of these items as well. I've watched a couple of reviews over the years, not because I was looking at buying one myself. It's not my particular aesthetic, but I can really appreciate the beauty of them. They are stunning. Now, this is the one that would be my selection out of all of the options. I think it is beautiful. I think it is subtle, gorgeous range of colors, still at a reasonable price point. If you were in the market for a Kelly, this I think is still at a really reasonable price point versus the Kelly itself will be beautifully crafted. The reviews are all really positive regarding this bag. And it's, from an, and it's from a brand that you don't hear about quite so much. So really, really beautiful. A very close second for me was the Pantera de Cartier because I also think that is stunning in the green. Oh, gorgeous, absolutely love it. But lots of really fantastic options. And I am sure that there are brands that I've missed. I am sure that, for example, Bulgari probably have a Serpenti variation that you could maybe use as a bit of an alternative to a Kelly. Um, I'm sure there are absolutely other brands that I've missed, so please do let me know if there are any alternatives that spring to mind that I haven't covered. But that is my list. I really hope that you've enjoyed it and I look forward to speaking to you in my next video. Take care, everyone. Bye now. Mwah.